ഗുഡ് ഈവനിങ് ഓൾ മിസ് ഡോക്ടർ വാണി പ്രഭ അസോസിയേറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ എ സി ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് എസ് എൻ എസ് കോളേജ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ടുഡേ മൈ ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് ഓൺ ബിറ്റ്കോയിൻ ബ്ലോക്ക് ചെയ്ൻ ബ്ലോക്ക് ചെയ്ൻ ആസ് വി ഓൾ നോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ന്യൂ എമർജിങ് ടെക്നോളജി വിച്ച് എൻഷ്യോഴ്സ് ഇൻറ്റഗ്രിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഹൈ സെക്യൂരിറ്റി ബിറ്റ്കോയിൻ ബ്ലോക്ക് ചെയ്ൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എൻ എമൽഗമേഷൻ ഓഫ് ബിറ്റ്കോയിൻ ആൻഡ് ബ്ലോക്ക് ചെയ്ൻ Satoshi Nakamoto created the Bitcoin protocol in 2008 to decentralized control of money when centralized entities had failed the world. A publication called the Bitcoin White Paper deeply outlined a set of computational rules that determined a new type of distributed database, which is nothing but the blockchain. The network was launched in January 2009. The most well-known cryptocurrency is Bitcoin, which is the one for which blockchain technology was created. Cryptocurrency is a digital means of exchange that uses encryption techniques to oversee the establishment of monetary units and verify financial transfers. The Bitcoin blockchain refers to the data stored in blocks of information that are then linked together in a permanent chain a block is a collection of bitcoin transactions from a specific period stacks of blocks are stockpiled on top of each other with each new block relying on the previous ones as a result a chain of block is formed giving rise to the world blockchain every time a new block is added it makes the previous blocks unmodifiable this ensures that each block is more secure over time and it is an example of how bitcoin technology is changing how banking and financial transactions are being made and this bitcoin blockchain is however much more than cryptocurrency it is the technology that cryptocurrencies are built on including block bitcoin the bitcoin blockchain is unique because it ensures that all transactions are accurate every action in the blockchain is recorded and there is nothing left out of the network once an action is recorded and stored in one of the information blocks it is time stamped and secured and the entire record is available to anyone in the system anywhere many steps are followed in a bitcoin blockchain the first step is transaction creation and also encrypting the information using digital signatures and the next step is the transaction is sent to the bitcoin's net- network's nearest node and again the same transaction is propagated through multiple nodes or intermediate nodes and that node reaches the destination node every 10 minutes the network agrees on a valid block and the transactions and the block is continuously growing the bitcoin blockchain is also decentralized it is not stored in one master computer it is distributed on many computers that are in the network in the bitcoin blockchain there are codes called hash hash we all know it is a unique value for each and every block in the blockchain hashing allows every network user to identify each block and directs them to move in the chain since every block has its own hash and a previous block's hash the important parts of the blockchain include records block hash and chain block records and tra- transactional records are the two types of records in the blockchain a block contains the most recent bitcoin transactions that have not yet been recorded in any previous block the transaction records also include the asset price and ownership data that are recorded approved and settled across all nodes in seconds so we might have understood this uh, block and transaction block record 
contains the most recent record whereas the transaction records includes all the transaction that have been made this uh, idea of blockchain technology was introduced by stuart heber and scott stornetta in the year 1991 bitcoin was created largely to facilitate the exchange of digital currency or cryptocurrency inventors rapidly discovered that it had far greater potential and designed bitcoin's blockchain to store more than just data on the token's movement this technology uses peer to peer transactions making it possible to function without any banker or third party to manage the financial movement this technology allows online payments to be sent directly from one to another without going through any financial institution bitcoin represents a digital trustless form of money along a side a movement to decentralized financial services before bitcoin there was a need for a trusted third party to keep their money in a proper ledger to record who owned how much and to whom the money was sent when all these details are recorded in the ledger everyone has a copy of this ledger with the bitcoin network so there is no need for third parties let's see how the bitcoin blockchain works so blockchain is a type of database which is a collection of information stored on computer system electronically in databases information or data is usually structured in a table format that makes it easier to search and retrieve databases are designed to store large amounts of information that can be accessed filtered and edited easily and quickly by many users at any time extensive databases house data on servers that are made of potent computers and these servers can be built using hundreds and hundreds of computers to have the computational storage and power needed for many user to access the database at the same time or simultaneously and one important concept is mining we all know what a miner does as a miner mines coal in the coal mines similarly here also miner mines a block and he is been rewarded every bitcoin transaction happens in the blockchain network which is a digital space where bitcoin mining and hash power generation occur hashing power is the processing power of a computer or a hardware to perform and solve various hashing algorithms these algorithms create new cryptocurrencies and trade with one another bitcoin owners purchase cryptocurrency and supply through a cryptocurrency exchange as we all know the blockchain works as a ledger tracking every bitcoin transaction and it's self verifying constantly check and secure every movement of nodes of entire network miners that is computers do the heavy lifting of the maintaining chain and thus receive bitcoin as a reward bitcoin miners refer to a high powered computers solving complex mathematical problems to mine a coin miners are network dedicated machines and that verify all the transactions and block any malicious actors or nodes bitcoin miners compile as many transaction as possible into a block then verify the block and add it to the chain of the previous blocks using a mathematical method miners are paid in newly mined bitcoin now let's compare the database and bit blockchain and we all know a database st- uh, structure into tables while a blockchain collects information into groups known as blocks and obviously blocks also holds data sets 
each block has a specific storage capacity that is changed into a previous filled block when it gets filled forming a chain of data called the blockchain millions of blocks filled with data are chained together every blockchain is a complex database since it creates an irreversible chain line of data when implemented in a decentralized system when one block is filled it is unchangeable and becomes a part of a timeline and so each block on the chain has an exact time stamp when added to the chain goal of the blockchain is to allow digital information to be recorded and distributed but not edited with the help of this bitcoin technology blockchain had its first actual application hope you all might have understood about blockchain and the difference between blockchain and database and the important concepts on bitcoin blockchain thank you